Only 20% of the antibiotics sold in the USA today are used for humans. The rest, 80%, are used for livestock. A CAFO is a concentrated animal feeding operation. They're like small cities, and they don't have waste treatment systems like human cities do. There's thousands of animals. They're crowded in close to one another. They're oftentimes living in their own manure. There's just bacteria everywhere. And that's part of the reason they're using antibiotics, because it helps compensate for the crowding, stressful, dirty conditions. At some point in the 1950s, we discovered that if we fed antibiotics to farm animals day in and day out, they actually put on weight faster. Which is a really poor use of these essential medicines. But those antibiotics kill off the weak bacteria, but of course the strong survive and they multiply. And they actually get out of those CAFOs. They're able to escape into our environment. For years, Washington regulators have been disturbed because beef cattle are given antibiotics in their feed. Dangerous to consumers, they say. We're creating resistant organisms that may ultimately transfer that resistance to organisms that cause human disease. They have known for nearly 40 years that this is a problem, and they have taken almost no meaningful action. We could be going to an era when antibiotics don't work anymore. Thanks to two landmark legal victories by NRDC, the FDA and the meat industry are finally under pressure to reduce antibiotics in livestock. We won two decisions against FDA in 2012, and it was a great feeling. I, I remember the first lines I typed into the blog I wrote after the decisions came out, and it was, woohoo! Even as the legal battle continues, NRDC is working outside the courtroom to transform the market. What I've really focused on are the market-based strategies, building relationships with the companies that are in the marketplace buying antibiotic-free meat, having tremendous success marketing it to their consumers, and making a lot of money doing it. You go to a place like Chipotle or Panera or buy meat from Applegate, and you're usually going to get meat produced without antibiotics, and it's not all that expensive. And what NRDC is really trying to do is raise the floor for the entire industry. Consumers shouldn't have to bring a team of scientists or lawyers to the grocery store to try and figure out all of these labels. They should just not have bad choices.